Welcome to Summer Fun Fridays with melted poured painted ice cream. What you'll need is some chromacrel pouring medium, chromacrel fluid acrylics, some paper cups, some craft sticks, some lightweight cardboard such as a recycled manila folder or maybe an old cereal box, and some construction paper or some scrapbook paper. Mix four parts chromacryl pouring medium with about one part chromacryl fluid acrylics. You may need to adjust your mixtures depending on the color. Some colors will be a little bit heavier than others, and you may want to add some water as well. You can also add some more pouring medium, but what you're looking for is a consistency of melted ice cream or honey. As you can see, I am stirring as I go and checking the consistency. I'm just adding a little bit of water at a time using a straw. You don't need to add much. You can also use a medium or heavy bodied acrylic, such as our Chromacryl Students Acrylic. With a paint like this, you are definitely going to want to add some more pouring medium and some more water. Again, you'll just want to adjust as needed. And don't limit yourself just to acrylics. Try using some tempera, like our Chroma Temp Artist Tempera in this beautiful pearlescent blue. Isn't this a great color? Now for the fun part, pouring. As you can see, I am just putting down some ribbons of color and some paint puddles using all of the colors I had mixed up. I'm sticking with analogous colors, and that means colors that are close to each other on the color wheel with a complementary color, the yellow or the purple, to help add some pop and make it shine. I just pick it up and I move it around and I swirl those colors together to make it look like melted ice cream. That beautiful neon pink I mixed up, I added to a squeeze bottle and I'm moving it around to get the paint to swirl and to make some neat colors. What's ice cream without toppings? You can add real ice cream toppings if you want, just add them to the wet paint, or you can add the old standby of glitter. When the paint dries, it will hold the glitter so it won't flake off. Now I want to make my cone. I'm mixing a little bit of brown paint with some white paint, and I'm using a big brush and I'm applying the paint a little bit thickly. The reason I want it to be thick is because I'm going to scratch into this. I'm using the back of the paintbrush to scratch a waffle pattern, something like a cone. You could also use a comb or a piece of cardboard if you wanted to. I set everything aside to dry. Poured paint can take anywhere from a day up to three days to dry, depending on how thickly you painted and what your weather is like. Once everything is dry, I'm cutting everything into shapes. I'm using a simple triangle shape for my cone, and for my ice cream, I'm cutting around to get some good organic scoops. Younger children might just want to cut circles. Older children might want to really get some more of those funky shapes happening and get a scoop type of feel. Then I'm just using my glue stick, and I'm gluing these down to some construction paper. If you find that the glue stick isn't working, just go to a glue, or you can even use a medium such as our Chromacryl Impasto medium. Don't forget to cut out some drips. Once I glue everything down, my beautiful poured painted melted ice cream cone is done. For more information on this project and more, be sure to check out our website, www.chromaonline.com.